Hey besties, welcome back to another episode of Styling Curves. If you've never met me before, I do fashion, beauty, and lifestyle content for curvy boss babes. So if that is something you're into, click that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a really quick fall haul from Shein, a variety of different things, just to kind of get into that transition from summer to fall. Quick disclaimer, I am a Shein brand partner. However, this video is not sponsored and I paid for all these items in this particular video with my own money because I love Shein. I will have links to all the items below the video in case if you wanna shop as well as my measurements. Let's just get into it. Okay, so the first thing I ordered when I saw this, I had to have it. The puff sleeves, the velvet, totally giving me like a 70s vibe. Oh, I cannot wait. I'm seeing this for the first time with you guys, so don't mind me while I'm all you know, enjoying my purchases. But what I love is, oh gosh, and it's so soft and it's stretchy too. Like, can we just look at that stretch? Ooh, this is gonna look so cute with like a black skirt. Oh my goodness, or black slack. Oh my gosh. Like, I think this plus a black skirt, or no, this plus leather jeggings and some rust colored thigh high boots would be smoking together. Oh, I love this. I cannot wait to wear this one. Okay. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but like, velvet's tricky. Like, some places you can wear it, some places you can't, but I'm gonna rock this baby anyway. And I'll probably rock it to places that typically I wouldn't wear velvet to, just because I like it and I like the sleeves. I like the way that it tapers in here too, and that it's stretchy, and I like the detail on the neckline also. Super, super cute, good length. I do like that it's stretchy as well. Talk about this crop top. I ordered this in a 4X because the website based on my measurements seemed to be indicating that I needed the 4X, which probably after I wash it and dry it is probably gonna be accurate. What's neat about this one is you can literally adjust the gathering by either squishing it up or pulling it down and then tying, I'm just gonna put a bow here really quick. And then I love the little ruffle detail. Oh, the cotton's really soft too. I don't know if you can tell because of my lighting, but it's like this burnt reddish orange. And the sleeves are long, so that's nice even though it's a crop top. Perfect for transition between fall, summer to fall. So this is like one of those where you can easily transition I do like it, so I'm gonna keep this one. And like I said, because it's cotton, I ordered it in a bigger size. And then by the time it um, washes and dries, it'll probably be perfect on me. Just gonna have to be careful when you lift your arms if you have it cinched too high up. Well, let's see how, how, how high we can go here. Oh, you can go pretty high. Okay, oh wow, and it totally gives it such a different look. Okay. Huh. All right. I shouldn't have wore a black bra, but uh, yeah, you could totally go even higher. Probably, I'm wearing stretch pants, but you could rock it with like some jeans, a skirt, whatever. Huh. Cute. I like that. I love that you can like change it up. The next one I got was this dress. I love the florals on this. But before I take you through the dress, let's talk about what I paired it with. I got this purse, which you've seen in other colors. Gosh, I'm sorry, the belt's making a lot of noise. Just a little gathered purse with magnetic closure. I love these, inexpensive on the site. Goes good with the dress. You'll see in the video that I'm gonna pop up here because I've already worn it. I got this belt, which you can bend around your waist, which is super um, helpful. And then it's got the chain on the back. On the website, that belt actually said 
that it was for regular sizes. It wasn't in the plus size, but I always venture out because you just never know. And actually that fits me with some length left. So if you're looking for a belt like that and you can't find one in a plus size, chances are that one will probably fit you depending on how you're configured. I will put the measurements of the link that was on the chain on mine below the video with the link going to the item, or actually I'll just link it to the item and you can look on the website and that should have the details. But it was in the regular section and I it was so cute on and I just thought it was fabulous with this. Okay, let's get to the dress. The dress, so cute. The collar on this, look at the colors. So vibrant. I wore this already one time and I got compliments in it from I think like two or three people, which I was only out for a couple hours. So that was super fun. The arms are like poofy and then it's got the elastic, which is cool because then it keeps that shape on your arm. Now I will say the size that I ordered, what size did I order? It fit me everywhere, except for I felt like the arms were a little bit too tight on me. And then it has the elastic at the waist you do have to be careful when you sit down in this. It's a little bit shorter than what I normally wear. So I wore like a slip underneath it. I think I got this in a 2X. Where the heck is the, where the heck is the thing in here? And then it has a keyhole back design as well. Yeah, I got it in a 2X. Okay, but here's what I did. So because the arms were a little bit too tight and that bugged me, I went ahead and <laughs> cut them, <laughs> which is what I modify stuff sometimes. Anyway, and I put these little buttons in and a little piece of elastic because everything else fit, fit great. So I put the elastic underneath the button so you wouldn't see so I could have a little stretch on my arm. And then I was like sad because I'm like, oh no, I made it too big and now it doesn't hold the poofy shape. So I probably should have just left it alone, but... I didn't want to go up a size because if I would have gone up a size, it would have been too big everywhere else. But I don't like stuff like pulling on my arms. If you have skinnier arms and you're a plus size, then this is probably going to fit you just perfect. But keep that in mind. So then there's this shirt, which has a tie in the front. And it goes in a V. So it's like a true tie. So you either need to wear a cami underneath like I have or you need to make sure that you tie it through your bra so that your bra does not show so you can kind of connect it over. I love the way the sleeves are taped. Look at the print on this. Such pretty fall colors with the rust, the cream, the browns. Super pretty. Love the bell ruffle sleeves. And then they have a slit right here. And then this has got some badunka dunk coverage. So a little bit shorter in the front just because it goes in a V, but then on the back, can you see that? Little bit of a Dunkin' Dunk cover, coverage. Not a huge amount, but a little bit. So it goes down, so kind of depending on how you're built, just keep that in mind, but I do like this one. I'm gonna keep this one. And then if you guys saw one of my previous videos, I bought a couple of these. So I got this white color, which would look great with this. So these are just inexpensive purses. The white and the orange for fall. So you could wear this, uh, the white with just any season, but then the orange is fantastic for fall. I'll have these linked below the video. But I think the orange would look so cute with this. Now, of course, you can adjust adjust that or just carry it as a clutch, which is probably what I would do. Probably take the strap off and carry it as a clutch. You could adjust the strap and do a crossbody too, like going across, but just thought these were cute for fall, so I went ahead and grabbed these as well. Just cute. I think, I can't remember correctly, but I think these were like 5 or $6 a piece, which is like, so inexpensive and fun for the season. All right, besties, that was short but sweet. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, all the links are below the video. I'd love to hear which piece was your favorite, which was your least favorite. 
Until next time, I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to follow me at Styling Curves on all social media and at stylingcurves.com. I'll see you next time. Mwah.